Hello, hello. Let me know if you guys can hear me. We've got the other set up right now. But I will be watching chat. What's up? Hey. Greetings, greetings. Let's uh, make chat a little bit bigger on Twitch. There you go. It's a decent size on YouTube. So we got both going. And maybe I shouldn't have the video playing. Can I put in the mini? No, we want chat. Can I make the YouTube player smaller? Theater mode? And just scroll down? Chat? Pop out chat. There you go. That's what we want. Pop out chat. And then we can put chat on the side. So then OBS is there. Since uh, YouTube, or since the stream, it's like, you know, like a five to 10 second delay. If I'm watching myself on the replay while I read chat, Oh man, it's trippy. I'm like, my hand's not there. But from teaching, I'm very good at looking at OBS and doing stuff from there. But when I'm looking at a 10 second delay, I'm like, what is going on? What's up, Easy Origami with AG and more? Hello, thanks for joining in. Thanks for joining in, Susan Hong. It's a OBB member, YouTube membership. If you guys are interested in joining the membership, Go check that out. I made a whole video on it. What's up, Simon? Good to see you, man. So we are continuing today on our mystery design, which is Rapunzel. Um, it's only a mystery to people who aren't in stream, basically. Uh, <laughs> I guess <laughs> it started off as a mystery, but it's not really a mystery anymore. Still keeping the title, though, because it, it's like, oh, what is he doing? Um, but... We, yeah, so we're continuing today. Uh, we did a lot last time, so we're making pretty good progress. It's a little bit smaller, but it's still huge. So I'm going to try to stay in frame for the most part. But uh, it's a little, little difficult, at least in this section, but the body should be okay. Let me just um, post on my story that we're live. You guys get to see the, the behind the scenes. We are live YouTube and Twitch. Yo, what's up, Elijah? How are you doing, man? How are you doing? School just ended for you guys, right? This week, I think. It's been a long time, man. That's very true. Dude, I miss the days where you just in the library, man, folding. That's it's I hold those times dear, man. Real good memories. Just graduated. Wow. Congrats, man. That's crazy. Yo, it's a big accomplishment. I guess technically, right? I haven't seen you in two years or so because of covid is man that's that's wild dude hey dude, i miss you too man it's it's really really it was really sad um because man that that summer oh if, if covid never happened dude a lot of origami stuff in oregon i miss rc too i haven't seen him in forever You don't mind me asking you're probably getting this question a ton because i remember when i graduated everyone asked this but uh what's your what's your post grad plans for now <laughs> yeah the library memes yeah last time was peacock yeah i think so so um, like i guess like 1.7 years <laughs> yeah i think i missed the winter pops meeting because i wasn't here very much or i wasn't in oregon very much 
Um, so it probably was Peacock, to be honest. A, which college you heading off to? Let's go. Toriba King, hello, hello. Thanks for joining in the stream. By the way, Elijah, I am running Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Technology has evolved. It's kind of crazy. Oh, Chicago, let's go, dude. Yo, if you're there and if the Windy City, I don't know where the Windy City Origami Convention is. I know it's in Ohio. I don't know if it's anywhere close. Oh, Chicago's in Illinois. Wait, but wait, what, what's the Windy City? Is that Chicago? Windy City. Chicago. Okay, so there should be an origami exhibition being put up in Chicago um, by Sachin Shah. I'm not sure if you remember him from Peacock. Uh, but I'm sending more stuff his way. So if it's still up by the time you get there, which you got a lot of time before that happens. but uh, So I have no idea. But hey, there's, there's, some, there's some origami folks out there. Is 50 centimeter double tissue enough for your Samurai version 3? Um, yes, uh, but you won't be able to get all the details or it'll be very hard to shape it. Um, but it's possible. You just got to be a little bit careful while you shape. And you got to shape with glue. Um, I met it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been so disconnected from the entire origami community recently. Still folding a bit though. Hey, that's cool, dude. Yeah, I think I saw on your personal Instagram that you were hanging out. You you, you found a solid friend group, so dude, that's that's pog too. I remember high school. When you when you find sometimes it's rough, but when you find those those friends that you just really like hanging out with, yo, that's solid, man. You have a girlfriend now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. Growing up. I remember when I met you, dude. Honestly, the, 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 the glow up change, the grow up change, it's real just in those couple years. Dude, good stuff, man. I'm glad to hear that you're doing very well. Uh, okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Um, easy origami is AG. I know it's a little bit difficult, but if you can learn to make double tissue larger than 50 centimeters, which you have to have like a little seam to connect multiple tissues together, uh, it's not too hard to do and the seam doesn't affect the thickness much. Um, and you definitely won't see it when, you, when you're done. So if you can figure that out, uh, I definitely recommend uh, close to like 60 centimeters for the samurai or bigger. Honestly, like a 70 centimeter double tissue would be a great samurai paper. How have you been? Dude, I'm chilling. I'm moving back to Oregon at some point. I got a job over there for my, my degree. Um... So it's pretty pretty lit. We're we're following the the goals, I guess, that we set out. <laughs> and I'm using my degree, which works. Um, with COVID, basically, like I didn't want to apply to anything or do internships, so I I went for a master's. So I have a master's in computer science now, which definitely helps with the job this time around. So that's lit. So now I can buy all the origami paper I want. And go to all the conventions I want, <laughs> which is fun. Uh, but we're we're chilling. It's been it was really busy though, getting that master's degree. So I was out from origami for a bit too. Um, but we're still trying to grind as much as you can. You'll notice in my upload schedule, um, like there's a big dip this past year uh, since since I started the the masters. Uh, I made 150 centimeter for Ryujin 3. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you got that. Yeah. Just go a little bit bigger than 50 centimeters. Um, the difference even between 50 centimeters and 60 centimeters for the samurai is, is really big. So, 
At least 60. AX Origami, hello. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for joining the stream. Hope you guys enjoy Oh, sorry if I'm going out of frame a whole bunch. I'm not watching. Okay, there. that should be a better angle. I'm, like, focused on getting these creases aligned, and then I completely forget. You guys can yell at me in chat, though, if I'm out of frame for too long. No worries there. I should have a, a Nightbot command that, like, does something if I'm out of frame that people can trigger. That'd be lit. Teaching origami to kids, to little kids, has been super nice. Gonna try to do that more when I get to college. Genuinely very enjoyable. Hey, dude, that's a great... Yeah, it honestly is so rewarding to see kids pick it up. And honestly, uh, little kids, like, their attention spans are small, but they get very interested in folding. So, um, they're, they're a great audience for stuff. Even more so than, like, slightly older kids. Because uh, I think slightly older kids will be more likely to give up. I found uh, little kids, you know, they'll they'll keep they'll keep going. They might not make it, but they'll keep going. Just lit. KG to third grade. True. Very true. And then, it's funny, the age uh, of complaints, right? It's like, yeah, kind of like that pre-middle school, like like maybe fourth, fifth grade, probably sixth grade. You get a lot of complaints. And then when you get to people over the age of 50, you get a lot of complaints too. <laughs> it's really funny. All right, so we finished the hair. That was just some swivel folds. Uh, which honestly we won't even see later. It's just the color change it um, Here the lighting's really strange But uh, okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. So we're gonna try to solve the face um, Which I did I if you guys were here last time I forgot the reference for the head um, So we're thinking this is the right one <laughs> But I think so I can just eyeball like like about here should be the face and that's approximately the size of the head because we don't want it to be too big and now I just have to remember how to how to do the face I know we 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 squash hold these guys I think so actually let's let's we can technically just reverse the whole thing first so like this and we can technically go to the edge I don't I can't remember if we go all the way to the edge one of these becomes a hair flap so we'll see uh, yes it is a human model you would be correct um, you, get, you can probably start to see we got feet here we got arms here and then this is a dress kind of I was going through some of Grant's posts yesterday and realized some of them are very sus <laughs> Sus in which way? I mean... Oh! <laughs> That's funny. T-Spin! Dude, what's good? Thanks for joining the stream. We're doing some folding here. Mystery design slash new design. But if you want to know the name of it, you can type in exclamation mark fold. And I think it'll tell you what I'm folding. But yeah, man, it sucks that the convention 2020 got canceled that time. Because I think Grant was going to come back. He was planning to come back to New York. Which means he enjoyed the time he spent with us so much that he just wanted to come back. But I'm, I think whenever the next one is, which hopefully is next year, uh, if everyone's vaccinated, um, then we can have another in-person convention. Oh, this hair is in the way. I'm going to lean it against my computer screen so I can fold on camera. It's the one downfall of uh, large papers on a smaller folding surface. Because it runs into stuff. 
I am in the process of folding a pigeon. Nice. Is it your own design or is it... Uh, let me try to think who has pigeon designs. Maybe like a Roman Diaz. I know he has a lot of birds. I don't know if he has a pigeon. But very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Okay, so the head should be about this big. Leave a little bit of a gap for like the chin. I'm trying to make it out for convention next year, I think. I haven't made it to any virtual events. It's just not the same. Agreed. It really isn't the same. It's, uh, I'm glad they exist and they've been working very well, um, especially with Origami USA, but uh, they're not the same. 100% agree. Um, I'm, I will be at Peacock this year. You probably won't be able to make it because it's going to be across the country for you. But I'm going to be at Peacock in San Francisco. I think that'll be the first first one besides Centerfold um, to be fully in person. Hey, what's up, Dart? Thanks for hopping in the stream, my dude. It was good. When is Peacock going to be? It's going to be in November. So I guess it depends on your school. I know when I went to Peacock in Oregon, even, I skipped school. Um for it but I, I made sure I was able to skip school <laughs> cleared it with my professors and got a lot of work done early I believe I took a test early or something um, but you know I couldn't miss out on that all right did I reverse fold wrong because I think the hair is supposed to be in the middle but that's okay because we have these I'm trying to remember I know this one's here but what all I guess that's the only one I can do so I guess that's correct. I can't. I honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> I oh, I know it. it uh, we're gonna do a weird transition here. Um, but we have to turn this paper into hair. Uh, but this stuff can thin out. So we're gonna construct our face now. So I think we can start by just, just valley folding this down. Good night, Mr. Boyce. Mark H L H, Mark. Thank you. You have a good night as well. Thanks for dropping by just a little bit, and thanks for the follow. Uh, I'm in the process of folding a Japanese white eye. Oh, cool. That is a neat, a neat subject to fold. All right, this is nice because so far the face is thin. All right, so let me find the, we're gonna thin the head out more. I'm just making sure the creases are doing okay. So you can kind of see what's going on here, I think. Yeah, a little bit. And then SS Brothers, hello, hello. Thanks for joining the stream. And from here, we can swivel these guys this way. I think. RSEM, hello. Are you folding Rapunzel from anime or your interpretation? Um, I guess this is kind of my interpretation, but it's based off the original Brothers Grimm version. So the front cover of the book, basically. Uh, however, it is simplified um, for origami, basically. Um, and originally, this was a commission type of piece, which is why it was supposed to be from Brothers Grimm because Brothers Grimm is royalty free, I guess. Or it's not royalty free, or yeah, it's public domain. Um, so there's no like hard copyright on the interpretation uh, versus like the Disney one is obviously copyrighted by Disney. Um, and Disney, oh man, they, they really like their copyrights. Um, so for the commission, I, I couldn't do the Disney version or any other 
versions I had to do the original but that's kind of the story behind that however the commission thing did not go through um, so and I designed unfortunately or either fortunately or unfortunately but basically I designed the model I just didn't fold it um, but I like I made the paper which is this paper for it I just didn't fold it um, so I'm like oh you know what now I get to uh, post it and let's why not live stream it because I think that'd be pretty fun Plus, I'm kind of figuring out my own design. I folded a couple test folds, but at really small scales. So uh, a lot of it was mush. So we were kind of figuring it out together a little bit. Uh, not Grim Reaper, Brothers Grim. So they wrote a lot of fairy tales, or what turned into fairy tales, but their book was a little bit different, I guess, if you read the original stories. Um, but they are the authors, original authors. Pulled in Origami Toothless Dragon from How to Train... Oh, sweet. For your girlfriend's little sister the other day. Pretty surprised how well it turned out, even though you used 15 centimeter paper. Dude, let's go, man. Toothless. That is a... A lot of people have asked me to make a toothless before. So that is very, very cool. What model is it? Um, press exclamation mark fold and you'll see the name. Mrs. Korth, Hi. Enjoy watching your origami work. Hope to see you sometime soon. Thank you. I think uh, this fall, I'll be back in Oregon, and I'm sure you'll be seeing me there. <laughs> I'll, I'll make an effort 100%. But yeah, I'll be in Arizona for a little while. Uh, can you make a taco? Uh, yeah, it's just a valley fold, right? And then maybe some shaping. Tim, another rare boy stream. Yes, I know. Two, this is, was this two in a month? Three in a month? Or I, I, I streamed six days ago. So six day gap. It's like the shortest gap in like a whole year. Crazy. But what's up, man? I still have not had time to play Monster Hunter, sadly. So I have not. I need the HR grind to hunt the Valstrax. Because I really want to hunt that thing. Um, it's looking great. It has color changes too. Is even cooler. Yes, the color change is the feature it's a lot of color change so like all this will be gold for the hair and then white for the dress which is really it's a nice nice feature it's very origami still rare that's true still very rare um can you please explain how not to have bibles in your double tissue i think you mean bubbles um what you want to do i honestly i have a lot of bubbles and air pockets that's what this wrinkle is but you put which I'm still learning from people better in better ways. Um, currently, my best known method is to put MC on your surface first, where you're going to put the paper, the first layer, then use like a PVC pipe or a tube, roll up the paper really tight, and then use that to press the paper onto the surface. So then there's, and you want to press it slowly and drag it. So then there, no, like less air bubbles come. And then do the exact same thing for the um the next layer too and then that normally works pretty well uh, at least uh it, my paper is not perfect but it works good enough for me origami orange do you have any tips for which paper i should bring to college i have a storage roll which i'm going to put stuff in how much is a good amount Forgot. <laughs> that's true man you do have a lot of paper um i'd say uh maybe pre-cut some paper so that it's like ready to fold so whatever paper is ready to fold for you should be more priority even if it's like kami like a 35 centimeter kami definitely bring that uh, because when you're in college you just you have more time but you have less time because you know you'll be hanging out with people you got college stuff uh campus is exciting so when you actually get the fold it's it's very difficult to like wait for your paper to dry uh, you know or methyl cellulose especially in a dorm it's very hard to treat paper in a college dorm they're really small um so get as much paper that you can just fold straight up it's probably probably the best uh, unless you have like a larger student apartment or where there's like a like a room in the middle and your <laughs> roommates won't step on your paper or anything uh, but yeah Still working at the moment. Can't stay long. K 
Can't wait to see the finish model. No worries, man. Have a good day at rest of the night at work. At PVC. <laughs> yeah, um, PVC pipe is very international. Just uh, go to the store and it's like, you know, a dollar or it's very cheap. So you maybe if, uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really cheap. Okay, so here's a flat for it. Sorry, I was really distracted for a while. Here's one flap of hair. I don't exactly know how far to fold it yet, but we can just make a preliminary mark here. This is kind of like way too much to decide, but I think we can shape it out later to thin it. Or she might just have poofy hair for now, which I don't really like the look of it, but work in progress, right? And so the technique here for those, not, not sure how many people understand this, but we did a point split because we did a big sink fold. So otherwise we would not, we would waste a lot of paper, but instead we, we just did a point split. Um, technically this flap can be created if you took the whole flap and like pleated it, but you, you waste a lot of paper there in the middle. So this is one way to use a little bit more of the paper point splitting. Uh, point splitting can be done a lot in other ways. A lot of 22.5 models of fingers, they're point splits as well. This is just the most generic, I guess, uh, sink fold in the middle of a flap and then make points. <laughs> okay, so we have this huge gap here. And I think what we're supposed to do is we take this and we draw it out like like that and then we do some kind of water bomb construction and push it down enough so that these become the hair and the rest of it kind of sinks down and I kind of forgot how I did that before but it's in theory this should work <laughs> um, we're gonna try to do it I'm being very careful because I don't want to mush the paper too much. Um, but that's that's kind of the concept. Because the hair is like here. Technically, we could just fold it here and like mountain fold the the rest of it behind. But it's uh, not as not as good of an option. Plus, from the other flap, we have basically a lot of space to do something here. the The main problem is it's really thick, so. Trying to be careful a little bit. Yeah, so we got large paper is very annoying at times. So we have this. What happens here? So these might pleat down a little bit, and I think that's okay, as long as they're together. I think I'm planning to pre-treat a ton of stuff and cut it. There's also an origami claw that you should... Oh, wow, that is great. That sounds amazing. Has hair as large as Kimia's phoenix tail. Actually, we might do the phoenix tail it's not the same structure, but you can do the same method. Um, and Rapunzel, some interpretations of her has a braid. So if it's a braid, we're going to do the Kamiya Phoenix tail because it looks good. Um, Obelisk used it for the um, John Arc braid. So totally, totally a great use for hair. Um, but right now it kind of looks like that. So it's wavy. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but that's an option, 100%. Uh, Indorigami Hanif. Oh, hello. What's up? Origami June, what are you making? Um, type in exclamation mark fold and it'll tell you. Nice little feature we got going. I got to plug it so we can use it. <laughs> um, but what's up, guys? Thanks for joining the stream. ASU is not culture enough for an origami club. That's true. Even though we have the most students in the nation, 
We do not have an origami club. Uh, I started teaching some mutual friends in a different club origami for a little bit, but that's like the closest one ever happened. Uh, even Phoenix. Phoenix used to have an origami club, kind of like Pops, but uh, that disbanded a while ago. A uh, while before I got there. <laughs> um, so that was a, a sad peepo. Sad peepo moment. Okay, so somehow... So you guys can probably see how it's turning. This naturally makes the face, and then we have kind of the back hair here, and then there's the neck, right? Um, we need to somehow get rid of this and then get these flaps down. So like our problem isn't too little paper, it's too much paper, which is kind of interesting. Um, so we're going to think a little bit on how to solve that. But let me use a, let me grab some clips. That way we can hold it in place for now. Um, there's also another thing that I think I'm supposed to do beforehand, before we do this. And that is to thin like this area out a little bit and also hide that and lock this. So if I remember correctly, do we valley fold this first? I think we valley fold here. Just to hide this corner. I recently made blasting Blackiston's fish out and made a time lapse. Oh, awesome. Easy origami with. Um, I'll call you AG. Um, very cool. Very, very cool. If you would like, you have my permission to post your video link in the chat. Um, which hope I think I used to have it blocked. I don't think it's blocked anymore. So give it, give it a try. And if people are interested in that video, they can go ahead and watch. Um. Sanazi beat 702. Hey, hey. What's up? What's up? Boys, you can put the command in your title too. I totally forgot. Um, and Nightbot can't change my title, I don't think. Let me update the title really fast. I think I can do both at once. There you go. Should be good now. Oh, wait, I got to repop out chat. There you go. Close that. There you guys a little bit. And put you guys in the corner. What should I do if I can't stop making paper yet? Hey, you can never have too much paper. Um, or it's it's better to have too much paper than too little paper. I guess you can't have too much paper. Because uh, you just might not fold it ever. I have that problem a little bit. Uh, but yeah, make more paper. Maybe you can give some to your friends. Kiwi, dude, what's up, man? Miss you. Busy with life, so I haven't been active on Discord. Dude, it's been a while, man. It's uh, it's good stuff. I, I haven't uh, VC'd in the hub in a while either. I'll have to hit up Discord a little bit more, give it some love. But yeah, dude, good stuff. And I've been busy with life too. I totally feel you, man. No worries at all. But thanks for joining the stream. You're in origami store with Lover Samurai. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Just realized an hour ago that all my emails were going to Outlook instead of Gmail. So when I signed in, it was flooded with hunt. That's so funny. Um, the email struggles. Still don't understand what the model is. Yes, we are folding Rapunzel. It is my own design. That is correct. It's a mystery because... Uh, you're supposed to find out using the command. <laughs> um, but I didn't tell anyone the first stream. So this is part two, basically, of the stream we did last time. Um, but I kind of revealed it halfway through the first stream, what it was. Um, so it's not really a mystery anymore. What paper am I using? I am using, what what I say in the description, 84 centimeter double tissue. Um, but part of it's triple tissue for color change purposes. But I won't say it's all triple tissue. 
because that'd be lying. So double tissue. Okay, so we're trying to swivel. How do I do it here? Hold on. The valley fold, and then a swivel fold. And basically this covers more of the neck area. That's not the neck area. So it hides and it follows the color change and it kind of locks this hair down a little bit or it, it forces it down like that. Sorry guys, my nose is very itchy. Wormy, what's up, man? Nice work so far, thank you. You've been having some really nice works as well, Wormy. Good stuff. Wait, it's not working. Uh, this, this sometimes the command's slow on YouTube, but it should work on Twitch pretty well. But give it some time and hopefully it'll pop up a little bit. Or, oh, your link's not working. Oh, okay. I might accidentally have that disabled, so my my bad. I might need the return that on. But uh, maybe people can click your profile and go to your channel. Okay, so we have a little bit of an opening here, but then the head's like really huge. So I'm wondering if I need to shorten this first, because this will all, all this will be folded in half basically. Um, I guess it's a balance, right? So let's just try to get the, let's not worry about how thick the hair is in the back yet. Cause that's kind of a detail that's okay. Let's just get the, the bangs in place, I guess. So we can just valley fold these guys down and that makes it not as tall. And I think, are these long enough to reach? These might not be long enough to reach. Interesting. I thought they were too long. Um, Okay, so I think what I did here is I like kind of sink fold this or I reverse fold this into the because there's like a, a gap here where we sink folded and then that pushes it further enough to go. So let me see if I can just crease through the entire thing, which no, I can't. Um, what's up, Raiden? Dude, thanks for hopping by. Join the stream. And see ya, Elijah. Dude, good, good seeing you, man. Thanks, thanks for. The wishes and hopefully uh, we'll keep in touch, dude. By the way, I saw you, Bodo, and Iron Wolf playing some game. Oh yeah, in the Discord. Um, I think Iron Wolf was playing Skyrim. I just dropped by to see what was going on and I checked out his stream for a little bit. It's pretty fun. But uh, I left pretty shortly afterwards because I had some work to do. <laughs> Love to see you give plants in origami journey mode a try. Oh yeah, dude, that'd be pretty fun. I'm still practicing faces though. I want to, uh, I think my style of faces are going to be a little bit different than plants. So I have an idea for a design. Pretty, We've been We've been working a little bit together, or not to, I guess like in tandem for developing working faces on complex models that are trying to be realistic. But uh, I think the realism, uh, if you guys watched my video on Yuho Samurai, the origami review episode, uh, I talk about the uncanny valley. Uh, oftentimes, the closer you get to realism, the farther you away, the farther away you go, unless it actually is perfect. So, yeah. Maybe you can sink the entire thing behind the head to cover it. Uh, that's kind of what I'm doing. Although instead of sinking it because it's too thick, I just crimped it. Um, and right now I'm holding it together so that I can kind of see if this works. But it is. Oh my goodness, it's so thick. But you guys can kind of see the structure here. Uh, I don't want the face to be actually that thinned out. We do want the neck to be that thinned out. But yeah, because this is already a sink fold is what we're 
playing around with. So we can't really resync fold this in because it's like the pivot point. Um, and it's a little bit too thick. But I think we can shift it. And honestly, we might be able to just fold in one direction. And that'll suffice <laughs> uh, for now, at least. A little bit mushy. I don't want to fully mush it because it's going to wear out the paper. Have you tried designing anything with tilted grid? Um, no, I have not either. That's that's a fun concept that I have not touched. I folded a couple things from Tilted Grid though, but at least for me, so the models I like to design, which I'm kind of contradicting myself a little bit, but uh, for me, efficiency is not just how much paper is shown per grid unit or whatever, um, which. Um, that's more of like a complexity or no, I, I guess that's what people generally put as efficiency, but included with that is I include foldability. So ideally I want some of my designs to be foldable by other people because I really like it when people fold my designs. Um, and tilted grid is just so much effort to make the tilted grid and for people to understand the tilted grid. Um, to start folding it. Maybe that'll change in the future as more people, like maybe Tilted Grid will just be as easy to solve as like 22.5 degree crease patterns, right? But I think even 22.5 degree crease patterns are still not fully, like, you know, people have, there's, it's not as uh, prevalent as like a, a box pleat crease pattern, which nowadays is very easy to solve, uh, ret you know, re relatively easy to solve. Origami, hi, from Korea. Greetings, welcome, welcome. I'm sorry, I, 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 I can't read Korean yet, sadly, but uh, welcome, thank you for joining. Um, yeah, and the reason why I'm saying I'm contradicting myself is because I, I, I literally designed this the other, you know, last month, which this is not foldable in any sense. Um, I mean, it is, but like, I can't make a tour from it. The crease pattern doesn't show how to, like, basically, it's not foldable. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but uh, a lot of tilted grid, like, the sacrifice of paper efficiency for foldability just is too much in my taste. So even if I use a slightly bigger grid and less is shown, box pleat for me is very nice. Or 22.5, which this is 22.5, uh, which the sequences are just so nice. I have a really good sequence for this, which is great. Gonna head out, boys. Have a good night. Good night, Dart. Thanks for dropping by, my dude. Thanks for hopping by the stream. Bunny man. Hey, it's a it is, or it's a bunny girl right now, technically. This is a it will be a girl. She's wearing a dress. Bird designed by Satoshi Kami. True. Oh, it's Wook. Oh, what's up, man? Dude, thanks for hopping by. Greetings, greetings. Hello, hello. Chingu. I know that word. Dude, thanks for watching. Uh, let's see, what time is it in Korea right now? It's the morning time, I think. 12 hours, a little bit. Maybe it's uh, late morning. Is it a problem that I won't fold something if the model has folds that have no reference? Uh, not really. You'll get over it at some point though. Like you'll realize, once you start to understand what those, sometimes those folds are just consequence folds. So uh, like it happens when you fold something else that has a reference um, or it's like a hinge. Um, so once you start identifying those, then it, it doesn't matter as much, um, but it's definitely uh, not fun when you're learning because you're like, what is this? Okay, we're going to leave this for now so I can think about it a little bit. We're going to finish off the arms a little bit, I think, um, just because they're bothering me for being so thick. Uh, but they look really nice when they're done. So we're going to finish these up really quick. And then it'll let us visualize our hair a little bit better. So the arms are pretty good. 
1 p.m. Gotcha. Also folding something. Ooh, what are you folding? Are you folding from the new Dragon's book? Or what you working on? Tilted grid could be useful for folding real life animals because you, you can use thicker paper. That is true. That is a very good um, use for it. Although, if you... Um, yeah. Yeah, like a lot of Shuki Kato's animals you can do with like elephant hide. They look great. I don't design very many animals though. But uh, for the animal designers out there, it's very nice. Okay, the hand is about here, I think. Is that too short? I don't think so. Is that elephant hide on the table? No, it is Canton's. Did you ever drink rat milk? I think it would be, I don't know if I'd drink rat milk. I don't really like milk in general from anywhere. One second. Sorry guys, I had to blow my nose. One cover and one create. Ooh. So you owned one um, from someone else and one that you designed, I think? Gotta go catch you later. Thanks Kiwi, thanks for joining the stream. Oh, rats don't have milk. They're mammals, technically they do. Is, is, this, is this an internet meme that I'm missing out on? Um, Tilted Grid could be... Okay, I already read that one. Oops. Nice. Nice. Ah, I see, I see. An awesome whoop. new design. That's cool. I'm excited to see what it is. By the way, guys, um, if you were here last stream, you would know that I'm giving away a copy of I'll, I'll grab it for the hype. This book could be yours. We're doing a giveaway, uh, which hopefully will happen next week. Uh, it's been a little bit, it's supposed to go out this week, but uh, I have to finish. A sponsorship series of videos that I'm doing um, before I can change up some links to then do the giveaway but you could win this book it could be yours so um, kind of with the live streams I like to announce things um, so you guys get a little sneak peek at some of my plans basically um, but you'll keep your eyes open for the giveaway it'll be a huge deal uh, I'll post all about it um, but yeah, for those who weren't here last time, definitely, yeah, keep keep an eye out for that post of how you can win this book. Should be pretty exciting. And if you already have it, I might have some other prizes as well, which are not determined yet. Um, but that's that's definitely the grand prize there. Yeah, it's Ancient Dragon Another, so it's the version two with teeth, 
And then this one doesn't have the chest pleats because I guess uh, Kamiya-san has not wanted to diagram those, which was mentioned in the first book. Um, but it's possible, but at least it has the teeth. Which is pretty cool. Okay, we're going to shape out the, the, the full hand later. This is basically... Yeah, you can kind of see that, right? Is the hand too small? The hand's too small. I think we have too much wrist. There you go, that's a little bit better, I think, uh, but we can change it if that's not enough later on. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Um, does oat milk count? I drank oat milk. Oat milk's pretty decent. I've had goat milk in dishes, but I haven't drank it straight. I don't think I could do that. Um, I don't really like milk, to be honest, so. Probably not. <laughs> Mark, it has less teeth though. The belly scales are barely visible. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's like, it would be t too much to diagram for not much results. So, also it would make the diagrams like ridiculously long. Um, it would probably scare away people from trying it. Where uh, in reality it's, not that much. Oh, I might actually add the belly pleats because if you do it from crease pattern, it's not bad because it's just like the boar. So it's just like a spread squash and like a sink fold. Um, but yeah, you don't see them very much. I, I eat my cereal dry. I know. <laughs> oat milk isn't real milk. Yeah, it's it's water with oats. I don't know. As I got older, milk just seemed more gross to me over time. So I started not to like it. The hand. Yes, this is the hand. You are correct. We're doing some of the shaping a little bit early because I can't, I'm trying to still think about what to do with the hair, uh, but I don't want to bore you guys. So we're, <laughs> we're still folding. As I kind of think in my head. No milk is environmentally stale. Yeah, I mean, but oat milk is far more sustainable than animal milk. Uh, simple math. How, need help cutting paper into a square? Uh, buy a cutting mat with a grid. And I know might not be easily available, but save up for one because you will not regret it. It is so useful. Got one of those. Ah, um, maybe get something to stick down the paper so it doesn't lift up as well. Uh, that might help too. What are you going to do behind it? Uh, that is the hair. So, uh, 
I, I'm probably going to do the phoenix tail, but I'm not too sure yet. Okay, so this is for the feet. Did I go too far? I make the paper on the cutting mat. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do that too. Do you have metal rulers? That also helps with cutting the square. Oh, they're just off my... Okay, yeah, I, I understand. But yeah, that's, that's kind of hard to cut. Do you... Can you make a... Uh, design animal with three different animal heads? Uh, I've technically done that with my Camara design. Which is kind of an animal and it has three animal heads if you count dragons as animals so yes i'm sick of holding rectangles that's funny true squares are rectangles though nah i'm just kidding <laughs> i know what you mean All right, so that kind of opens out the dress and then for the feet so that they're not so blocky, which ah, <laughs> the hair is in the way. Hold on, can I just, uh, let's just have you go this way. Please, while we work. All right. This is kind of fun because I don't exactly know the flat foldability of this, but this swivel folds make it flat folding, so. Like it works out nicely without mushing. I would not be able to represent this in like Orihime though. It's time to start folding triangles. True. Oh, I kind of want my tweezers for this, but I'm too lazy, so nah. We'll need tweezers. So this is a uh, pretty fun part because this kind of shows the sequence as very natural. So this the swivel fold lines up perfectly for that and then after we do the other step we can just unfold part of this and it naturally opens up as well i don't know how easy that is to see on camera but justice for triangle papers is funny triangle origami he does a lot from triangles it's a very valid thing. Triangle technically is a square and half, so it can, can be considered a square too if you want to technically fold from square. It's t totally fair. There you go, and there's our feet. Which aren't really rounded out yet, but... Okay, the proportions are looking okay. It's just kind of the head that's a little bit strange. But that's okay. Yeah, this section of the paper is very, 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 very thick. So we kind of have to figure out what to do. So normally I will fold this in half. 
Oh, I think on the other one I pulled this out and I did something with it. Okay, let's tr let's try that. So we have kind of a layer stuck in here and I put in the Elias stretch into the paper. I don't know if that helps it too much, but maybe that'll give us some idea of what to do. So this kind of starts going into mush territory just a little bit. Just because I'm not able to fully access this flap. So we kind of have to guess, mine it up carefully. But it also isn't technically a flat folding. Actually, it might flat fold, I don't, I don't know. I think it's technically self-intersecting. Or no, it doesn't flat fold. The paper's in the way. Oh, I'm out of frame. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, but hopefully you guys can see what I did there. Lie stretch. Moosh. So what's mooshed is underneath here, this flap. There's no real connection from this flap to the other side. So it's uh, stuck. Moosh for the wind. True. Sometimes it's a solid moosh, a clean... A clean moosh fold, very effective. I'm using paper that was used as packaging for Amazon boxes. Nice, I made my Ryujin out of paper that was packaging from an Amazon box too for clothing, um, which it obviously it happened to be tissue paper, but I used that tissue paper to make into my big tissue paper for my reunion. Very resourceful. Why throw away the paper from Amazon when you can just fold it? When I first started origami, most of my larger papers were basically recycled paper, um, just because that was all I could get at the time. And I didn't know how to make double tissue. Um, or I was learning. The only tutorial at the time, or the, the go-to one that would pop up when you look up how to make origami paper was uh, Tim Rickman's. And I think maybe Sarah Adams had one too. But uh, that, that's all the resources there were. Now there's a lot more resources on how to make double tissue. Good way to recycle. True... Okay, so see, we can't quite close this, but that's okay. And that's kind of okay here too, I think. And so this is an okay amount of thickness because it's hair. So it's totally fine. And technically the uh, hair can go like this. We just need to figure out this spot. Look, her brain can go in there. And I don't really just want to full mush it, even though I could. Um, this could be a shaping thing, though, because maybe I, I just pleat this and then that's that's how it do. But hydrate check. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, moderator. Tell me to hydrate. Very true. Let's try to get this guy to... I wonder if we can stand this up. Maybe we hold it with uh, clips. We'll stand up. Yeah, almost. There you go. <laughs> so we're making pretty good progress. So I'm only going to stream for about 20 more minutes. I'm sorry I was late, but uh, we limiting our time since we're working now. Uh, Got to sleep at a regular time. Thicker than tissue paper, but thinner than normal paper, and it has a shiny side. Kind of like a wax craft paper, maybe? Like a thinner craft paper? Hydrate check. Oh, wait, that's a feature. Oh, did you cash in bits for that? 
Thank you. I will drink some more water for that. I totally forgot we had that feature. Nice. My water tastes weird for some reason. Not sure why that is. Maybe I need to clean my straw. Uh -huh. Literally came in the box that my cutting mat came in. Eight. Hey, that's that's a freebie right there. Very nice. Yeah, we just hit an hour streaming, so we'll just go for a little bit longer, and then call it a night. And then, um, I think for next stream we might either finish off. I mean, honestly, this is almost done. So I might finish the shape, like the final shaping off stream, just because that's really hard to stay out of fr in frame for, um, and hard to show. Um, but I am going to start folding Ancient Dragon Two, or Ancient Dragon Another on stream, which should be pretty fun. Um, the stream won't be saved on YouTube though, because I don't want people to be able to fold from my video, um, in respect to the copyright for the book. But we're going to stream it because that's fun. So look forward to that for the next stream. It'll probably be on Friday again. Or maybe Saturday. Next, I think I'm busy on Friday. Probably on Saturday. So in one week. Do another live stream. And hopefully I can maintain a one stream a week kind of thing. And bring YouTube videos to you guys. If you didn't see this week or today, I released a video. Uh, it's a little bit different than the others. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I should design a pigeon. I should. My sister likes pigeons for some reason. Maybe I could design that for her. <laughs> but I think you can kind of see the concept here of this model. We're almost done. I think all of it looks pretty decent except, <laughs> except for this part right now. But you can kind of see the concept with the hair. Um, this can like spread out to... Um, the other way I guess we'd want it but we might do the braid but uh, at least for the back portion like it looks like kind of there's hair going down uh, a little bit at least maybe we'll try to cover the color change areas a little bit honestly the back doesn't matter too much uh, but then to the side we have a flap here that we can um, kind of shape out you know to make it seem like just hair behind Um, but that should be pretty cool. It's looking good. I think this design will work. And we can put some clips in here for now. But yeah, very fun. Very exciting. Thank you for the plug, moderator. Yes, check out my website for more information, more origami, crease patterns, some resources. A lot of good stuff over there. Definitely check that out. But, alright. Let's see, before we go, do I have anything else to share with you guys? Oh, I guess you guys technically want to see my latest design? You might have seen it on Instagram already. Check this out. There's two versions. This is kind of for fun, um, but I made a video for TikTok about origami cranes, but like modified ones. So I was experimenting with making four cranes from one square, and it's not the Robert Lang version because his would require much more grid than these are. So this one is an eight grid, and this one is a 22.5 reference where all the cranes line perfectly up because of the reference point and this one is made by Bodo you guys know Bodo Hag he came up with the crease pattern idea for this and then I um, folded it 
and then yeah you guys can it's kind of interesting right four cranes from one square and these are just 15 centimeter squares uh it's kind of uh kind of cool i guess <laughs> this it's the same transition i use for the invention of the crane which i don't really want to say i made so it's not really like my design it's just i made it um because it's been used a lot in the past so it's not really my design uh hey i have a question i have two tissue papers and i want to create a double tissue would sticking them with pva glue mixed with water give a good result for say ancient dragon origami um yes but you need to experiment with your pva so if your pva with water is too watery it might be a little bit hard um or you have to be yeah you need a good surface for it otherwise it'll stick too much to the surface um and you uh, you'll definitely need to roll it with a pvc pipe or the paper will tear because if there's too much water content then the paper starts to fall apart the tissue starts to fall apart before it dries once it's dry it should be okay but again if it's dry and it's too stuck to the surface it might be hard to get off um ancient dragon is it would work it would be a small ancient dragon you would need to make a much larger sheet of double tissue um but yeah feel free to look up i think plant psychologist has a good double tissue tutorial so i would check that out and the methyl cellulose can be replaced by that pva water mixture but yeah um your first try might not work but i uh encourage you to keep trying and you'll learn new things each time you try uh, when i first tried to make it i mixed pva glue with water as well and it didn't work <laughs> or it didn't work well uh, i tore the paper a lot but over time i was able to make it um and now now i can make it really well so or decent well <laughs> oh video look at that Thank you, moderator, for the uh, moderator, Asian Dumplin, for the extra commands. Thank you. But yeah, hopefully that helps a little bit. But I think we are going to wrap up this stream. It's getting pretty late at night, so it's been good. But here's our progress. And I wish the arm. Uh, I'm going to shave out the arms a little bit later, but they'll come out kind of forward and across a little bit um because i'm going to pleat them diagonally a little bit but that's kind of the gist of what they'll look like and i think the color change hair is pretty nice i think the color changes are all pretty pretty decent here let's just crease this guy a little bit better more pointy and we'll figure out what's going what's happened on with this craziness and then that's that's going to be it except for maybe to braid i'm i'm really considering to braid i don't know how good the wavy hair will look like the texture is kind of cool but uh and there's little things here but i don't think this is enough to to say hair um so we'll kind of we'll kind of see if we're treating uh, which is better pva or methyl cellulose yeah i'd say methyl cellulose is better uh, as well it's easier to work with and you get the little bit more crispiness um you can find where to buy methyl cellulose on my website obb.design which you can type in uh, exclamation mark obb and i should link that um potential command is exclamation mark resources in the future note to the moderator um, that links the specific resources page or the um, methyl cellulose kit. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll make that later, I think. PVA makes it rubbery. Ah, yeah, it depends. There's a couple different PVA mixtures, so it depends what your PVA is. I think um, there's I think there's PVA in methyl cellulose or something like that. There. They're intertwined in some way, but it depends on the mixture you use. Um, sometimes you can combine the two as well to get different drying times, which I know some people use. But generally, you can just get away with the glue for sh shaving.
Oh, latest video command. I like that. I just, you know, yeah, Elmer's glue. That's all you need. It's very good. All right, but I think that is all for today. Thank you everyone for tuning in the stream. And if you're watching the VOD, shout out to the people watching the VOD. Thank you for enjoying the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hope that was kind of, I'm sorry if I went out of frame a little bit, but we had some great conversations, guys. Thank you to the chat. You guys are great. Um, great questions today. Thanks for keeping it lively so I don't have to talk to myself. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. You're fast. Thank you, moderator, as well, for helping out the stream. And guys, definitely check out some of those commands for next week's live stream. I'll be a little bit more careful to uh, post about those either in the title or the description, so it's a little bit easier to read. Um, but yeah, good stuff. Oh, boys. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Uh, sadly, stream's about to end, so you came right at the tail end. But thank you. I appreciate it very much. And I will see you guys later. Thank you, thank you.